How's it going various internet users and other pedophiles who may be watching this video for sexual purposes? I'm going to hopefully be able to show you now how to run uh, Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead uh, combined ops and use mods with it and in a foolproof, uh, foolproof way without uh, many errors at all. First things first, what you need to do is open up your Steam and here you'll see listed your Armour 2 Armour 2 British Armed Forces if you've downloaded um, the extras or maybe if you've got the PMC one you've downloaded that as well that'll be listed and Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead so first, thing, first things first go into Armour 2 properties and then go over to here to local files now what you want to do is you want to verify the integrity of the game cache now basically it's just going to reset things uh, like the game's not been run before it's not going to reset your profile so don't worry about that and just go ahead and do that and after you've done that, you need to do that also for uh, Operation Arrowhead. So go ahead and do that as well. And once you've done that, if you've got any of the extra downloads, do it for them as well. If you don't, that doesn't really matter at all. Um, unless you like untextured packs, but okay. So uh, after you've done that, go ahead and run Armour 2. And now by run, I mean just go to the main menu and sit there for a second or two, then exit. Now, if you want, what you can do is you can play single play for a second or two. I did and I haven't had any trouble but you don't have to I, from what I understand so you know do whatever you want. Then play Operation Arrowhead and then play any of the extra DLCs you've got. Once you've done that your all your um, games gonna be verified so that's okay that's great. Now what you need to do is right click on Operation Arrowhead and run the combined operations. So launch armor 2 combined operations. You can also do this by clicking here and going launch time to combine operations once you've done that either again you can play the single player or you can just exit up to you once you get to the menu it doesn't really matter now once that's done you need to go into your armor 2 operation ahead directory which will be in your steam for me it's in the 32-bit section of windows but i'm using the 64-bit processor um things might be a bit different i'm not sure um so uh, go through, um, I've also got Armour 2 installed here and Armour 2 Operation Air is in, in, the, uh, in there as well. Now here you can see my listing of all my mods that I've downloaded, the various things. And down here you may notice that I've got all these extra files that looks like they would run mods, which is true. That's what, that's what this file here is. This file here runs combined operations. So if you want to run a mod that requires combined operations, then you would run it using this here. So that's basically the file that runs when in Steam you run this thing here. When you run Combined Operations in Steam, all it does is run that file. Now, as long as you've played Armour 2, um, gone in and played it, and you've gone in and played the other games, when you run this file, the game should just start up fine, and it should be running uh, Combined Ops. If it doesn't, then you'll need to go back and verify your game caches again, and make sure you play them before you run. try and run... Um, this file. Otherwise this file won't recognize where the Armour 2 Steam uh, exe is and all its files are. Now I'm pretty sure BAF, yeah there you go, British Armed Forces has also been moved by the guys who uh, run the Steam section into this file here as well. So I don't need to worry about that but that's all. It's just this there. Now what I do copy this file and place it on your desktop. So say we want to run uh, a sound mod for instance. I'm just going to rename this and call it Ace Sound Mod. Now, you've got a copy of the file that runs it in the um, combined operations uh, file type. So, what you need to do is then right click on this, edit it, and you'll see all this. Now, basically, all that is that's just locating where all the files are necessary to run combined operations. So, down here, you'll see this command line which will be empty. You don't really need to worry about the rest of it, just this bit down the bottom. Now after CA, what you'll need to do is, same as similar to anything else ever putting in a command to start up uh, in Armour if you've ever used it before, you need to make it sure it's exactly the same as this file in here. The exact same wording. So what I do is I just copy the name straight over and paste that in there. Now make sure you put a semicolon in between the CA and that and then that's all good. File, save and you can exit. So now that's on my desktop, and that'll run the game. Now what I do for instance of putting this uh, file is what I do, I'll drag that in here, 
then I'll go ahead and send to desktop and create a shortcut and then I put that shortcut over in here in my games file now you see in here I've got all these I'm just going to delete that I've got all these other files in here which will run uh, different things a sound mod this one here is one I've already set up earlier which is once again just running the sound mod so yeah and that's all you really need to know and that should run fine if you have any trouble please send me a message and yeah and lastly what I want to show you is if you well, I know a lot of people have trouble using 6 updater it's an optional thing you don't have to but you can go ahead and use it anyway so I'm just going to show you that now if you've downloaded 6 updater uh, you should just be able to run it and it'll start up the first time you run it it might do some funky shit and update or whatever I don't know if they keep the version updated on their website or not but go ahead run it alright now when it first pops up what you'll have here is you'll have um, sure, it'll be one of these, it'll probably be this one here set up now what you need to do is your main menu now what you need to do is you need to go to configuration presets and now the presets here go create new name it say call it um, uh, my preset and that'll have all your mods in it now the mods you want is going to be your ace your ace x um, your ace x sound mod if you use it I like to and now you, or what you'll also want is your cba you'll need the cba file so also get that and your jarma 2 lib as well um, acre file if you use it I'm not sure if I do so I'm just gonna you can get that as well I use the manual installer for it um, and anything else you really need to so, so those are the mods that's fine and you don't really need to touch any of other stuff just go create so now you've got this one called my preset which is going to um, run those files when you when you go to go back to main profile and what you see here is up in here you'll have all your presets you have so that's my preset now just sync it with your computer now that's going to detect what you have installed and what you don't have installed now when you first install this you may notice that this box here is actually empty so what you need to do is go uh, edit action and then install or update that's what I use you can get to whatever you want really it doesn't really matter um, you don't need to worry about CBAOA or CBAA2 because they don't matter they don't um, because you're using combined operations you just need CBA um, and that's all good and then what you need to do after that is just execute and that will update and I actually have to update so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and yes that'll bring up uh, another little window and that's how you use 6 updated to update with ACE and those files will actually go straight into your ARM2 operation arrowhead directory alright good luck and leave me a message if you have any trouble